down the street um, about two police cars they were harassing some young Latinos for no apparent reason and this is not new to the South Central Los Angeles area let me sh come with me let me show you these barricades we have here as you can see they have these these idiots sticking um, flyers up here showing their disapproval also we have some um, a statement uh, spray painted on here fuck this shit mm-hmm as you can see this is this is a problem and also we have steel fence this fence could come down if the right person knew what to use he could get it he could knock this fence down or at least break it open one could easily take it off with a hacksaw blade if he had enough time but who's who's willing to make the sacrifice we don't know and that concludes uh, this portion of the tape we'll resume uh, tape when we see some more harassment going on in the city or whenever we feel it's necessary goodbye mm-hmm <laughs> Here we are. Is Demo in? Yeah, Demo here. Please go get Demo. <laughs> I'll just be interviewing Mr. Jones here. Hello, what is your name? Dante Brown. Dante Brown, I see. And you are what to Mr. Demo Jones? His nephew, I believe? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. Are you going to school right now? I already went to school. That's good. You're proud. I'm sure Demo's very proud of you, and so is your mother and father and everyone else, grandmother. Handsome young man. We're waiting for Demo now. Is uh, Dante in? Dante's not here? Come here, young young lady. And what is your name? Come out here. Don't be camera shy now. Come out here. My name is Demari Jones. I see, I see. And Miss Jones, can I have a word with you? Hmm? You're camera shy. <laughs> and who we do who do we have here? <laughs> a Debo. What is your name? And then a Debo. No. What is, what is that substance on him? Demo. I see. The cat's got your tongue. I understand. That's cool. And who is, is who? Who is that? Who was that voice I heard in there? Was that Diane? Diane? Can you can you ask her to come outside for a quick second? Diane. Could I have a word with you? It's imperative. It concerns black America. Diane obviously has more important things to do than to discuss this situation. Diane's agenda must be different than ours for some unknown reason. That's fine. That's okay. I don't mind. Mr. Jones, who likes to take. Mm hmm. <laughs> we'll take a break here and we'll conclude when Mr. Jones comes outside. BH, CK, BK, and PK. I did some crabs back there, man. Yeah. K, K, K.
tuning out. coming through here all right let's walk come on here we go about to come on over here and check out this uh policeman that got murdered you know what i'm saying yeah uh, we'll, we'll continue once we get to the scene peace out follow me come with me into the mayhem come with me let's go here we go you following me now now allegedly Allegedly, we have one police policeman shot. This is the real news. We aren't. This isn't any biased reporting. You see here, we have a lot of uh, undercover cars, a lot of mayhem, turmoil, chaotic here. Is that a SWAT unit right there? It might be. Policemen around here very antsy, hands on their weapons. <sighs> yeah, this is the real news. No bias, channel seven, four, or two, nine, five. This is better than BET. Let's get a closer view over here. Come with me. Excuse me. Here we are. As you can see, in the midst of the turmoil, we have a lot of white collar Americans. It's the only time they come through here during acts of violence. There's a familiar face right there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. There we see Councilman Adrian Catorce right there, and he's talking to a police officer. There we see the uh, SWAT team. They're out here. Now, reporting the news is one thing, but going behind the scenes is more important. What brought on all of this? What's the cause? Why was that young man shooting at the police? Who's to blame? Who is to blame? I'm sure a lot of my fellow students are asking those questions. We need solutions here, and we need them fast. This young man right here obviously pushed me. He must not know what, what part of town he's in, but we won't go into that. Here we are, complete footage here can't rely on the news to show us everything. There we have a SWAT team member. A automatic rifle. Policemen around here are very antsy. Hands on their weapons. God forbid any of these kids around here have any uh, M80s or blockbusters lying around. If one goes off, who knows what might happen. I, I don't know about you at home viewing this, but I just, I just feel a sense of, um, a sense of awe among the residents around here. <clears throat> Being a, a resident of this neighborhood all my life, uh, when things like this occur, shootings like this, the policemen, they, uh, they get really upset and they take out, they vent out their anger on the residents around here, especially the young blacks, young black males. So we'll try to uh, keep the cameras rolling and try to catch, catch uh, any harassments that might take place after this. There's at least, there's at least 35 police cars. 
undercover car, undercover police officers in uh, Thunderbirds, the 5.0 engines, supercharged. <clears throat> see, all this money is spent. All this money. You see, look at all these people out here, all these city city officials. Now, just think of all that money that's uh, being spent in uh, salaries to pay them. All of this money, cameramen, news agencies. Just think if that money were uh, allotted to prevent the crimes ahead of time. Hmm? But then again, these people you see out here wouldn't be paid. So it wouldn't be advantageous for them to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I believe yesterday there was a, a shooting in, in which a, a young teenager was murdered and a riot broke out at the scene. <clears throat> I don't think that'll happen here. The police are just too deep. Yes, I see, uh, I see uh, newscasters from all the major uh, channels here in LA. Channel 5, uh, 7, 4, you name it, they're here. <sighs> we'll just keep on rolling until that battery runs out. I wonder... Okay, let's uh, get the camera on this on this this African American who's chosen to become a police officer. And there's uh, T Chief Daryl Gates walking this way, hopefully with a statement. This will be interesting. suspects. Uh, their backup officers uh, came in and uh, there was a, a shootout between the backup officers and uh, the three suspects. Uh, one officer was shot. Uh, he's fine. He has a through and through in the thigh and uh, just, just going to do very, very well. Uh, we have people out of the, we have people in custody. But we're searching the house now. I should say we're clearing the house, and once we get a search warrant, we'll search the house for the weapons. Is there someone in the house still? We don't know. That's what we're doing now. We're clearing the house. Uh, we'll sure there's no one. Seriously, Chief, there's an awful lot of top brass out here, and typically don't come out to these sorts of uh, events, typically. Well, I think uh, any time you find an officer that's been shot, you can find a lot of uh, a lot of the brass that comes out. Maybe that it's daytime, a few more out here, but I think you'll always find uh, I always respond to that. I've been over 13 years to respond to all sorts of good shots, so uh, I think that's what you're What is your response to uh, the an appeals court upholding your, your reinstatement by the police? I knew it. <laughs> well, in the, you know, we, we said right from the very beginning, uh, the Superior Court judge that, that handled uh, did a magnificent job, a uh, 49-page dissertation, uh, lesson in civics, uh, and uh, the appellate court simply took that and uh, recognized the quality of that work uh, and also the legality of all of the issues that were uh, involved. Uh, I came up with the, uh, what an answer that did not surprise me or the city attorney. Chief, how about the transcripts that have come out today and the testimony and testimony that you've heard? Okay, obviously they're moving on to a different subject, talking about the findings of the Christopher Commission, and we'll listen into those reports. Obviously, Chief Gates, a man to be commended, having so much on his mind, yet he still finds time to come out here to the scene and, and join his, his team. 
let's get a shot of Gates' um, shoes, his apparel. Gates, obviously not a man of high fashion. Many of the many of the media here, they're, they're, they're being very biased in the questions that they're asking the chief. We'll listen in some more to the chief. That is true. The chief does speak out. He's a man who doesn't change with the weather, I would say. How long, how long did you take this pressure? Yeah. How, how long did you bear it? I tough. Well, take it forever. Well, but, but it, what if it pressure. makes it untenable for you to do your job? Well, I don't think it, it, it has yet. Uh, and look, I, I've said over and over again, I want to retire. Uh, this is tough. Uh, no one wants to put up with this forever. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not my choosing. And, and, uh, but I do believe that you have to move forward in a very orderly fashion. And I'm hopeful the city council will move forward in an orderly fashion. Uh, and once they do that, once they've, uh, they've uh, done what I think they need to do, uh, then fine, I, uh, I'll look for greener pastures. You want to get up, some out there. Do you want to get the department back on track before you retire? Of course, of course. Is that your old, is that your I, I think the majority of the department is on track. Have problems. I want to correct those problems. Uh, deal with those problems. Deal with them as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in on this base head in the adjacent apartment in the blue. Let's get a close-up of him. Yes. This is one of the number one reasons why this neighborhood is going down. Crackheads like that. The crust around the mouth, around the nose. It just doesn't help out the situation. Thank you, Chief. That was Chief Darrell Gates, the man under fire right now, as we continue to look on here. Got a statement as the Chief walks off. Let's get a shot of the newscasters here. We do have that appointment. Yes. Now, allegedly, from what I heard on the streets, we had a Rolling 20 outlaw shoot a police officer. Rolling 20s, part of the uh, notorious blood gang, which occupies territories starting from 23rd Street, stretching to 30 to the start of the 30s, which is 33rd Street. We're not sure. We're not sure exactly what made this young man shoot. After I tried to ask Chief Gates um, any, if he thought of any solutions for this problem to prevent it from happening again, and he said no. He just likes to react afterwards after the damage is done, and that's what we have here. We've seen it from both sides. Now, I haven't been biased. No, you've seen the whole picture here. Christopher Hodge, Channel Black News, signing off. Here we see those biased news stations, Channel 5, Channel 9, all of them. The one-sided approach. There we see a state-of-the-art uh, undercover police car. So watch out for them. 
Supercharged T-Birds. KNX is on the scene. A little late. Chief Gates has already spoken. You want a statement? All right. We have a concerned community member here that wants to uh, give her a statement. So how do you feel about what's, uh, what's happened on this block today? Well, I'm very concerned because we have a lot of children around here, and I don't think that type of thing should be going on. We do. Now, um, let me ask you this. You see all of these, uh, these white-collar Americans uh, out here? Now, just take a second and think of the salaries that are spent on, on, on them every year. Oh, yeah, I want to say something about that, too. Yeah. Now, do you think that money could be allotted uh, in a better way to prevent problems like this? Yes, they should open up community, I mean, community centers and stuff for these people to go to and it wouldn't be this type of trouble. That's right. They don't right. think that's, about that. That's they point. don't think about that. They don't. They, most of their uh, money, money is spent and, and after Chief Daryl Gates came and gave his little statement about five seconds ago and he ran. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He gone now. Obviously, he has uh, more important things to do. He doesn't really study the problem beforehand to prevent it. He just comes on the scene afterwards, after somebody's dead. Or somebody's beaten, you know what I'm saying? But yes, that's, right. that's the problem we have here. You gonna tell them he always come when a police officer involved. When he come when the police officer down here shooting all these black people up. Yep. It's always and, and just like those uh, newscasters, they just they'll just uh, show the comments where the chief is looking good. They won't they won't put that comment on on TV. No, they won't. You know, it's a lot of one-sided stuff going on. And we're trying to do what we have to to, to solve it. But uh, it's a sad situation. Obviously, somebody doesn't care. Right. And people in control don't care. You're right. That's why we just got to take care of our own right now until yep, it gets get better. Go with the guy that down oh, there with, with, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you heard about uh, Pi, didn't you? Who's, about him. who's Pi? Oh, you don't know about him? No, I don't know. From uh, 20s. He got shot eight times last night. Oh, really? Yeah, he's in General Hospital right now. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> That's my mother. She don't want to make it. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay, you know. All right, if, if you don't have anything else to say, we'll be no, moseying on. Thank you. All right, take All it right. easy now. Just chaos. We're living in a terror dome, you know. Mass hysteria. Is that, is that BB? Yeah. Here we see a uh, obviously a newscaster in the car reporting obviously a biased side of what's going on here. The city is wasting their money paying his salary when they could have had that money working in the city, you know what I'm saying? So this wouldn't have happened. They come onto the scene after it's all done, somebody's dead. You know. Oh, we're still we're still filming here. Let's take one more look at the mayhem down there. Think of all the money that's spent for those officials and those coppers. All that money. Literally millions of dollars a year. And that money could go to a program that could be ran by volunteers for free. But, so you can't tell me we don't have a problem around here. You can't tell me. Hopefully it'll get better. We'll see. Still rolling. We're still rolling. We still got battery time on there. You know what I'm saying? I don't see the situation getting much better. I don't see it getting much better through the vote through the uh, voting booths. It can only be, you know, you know you you go to vote, and the city officials still put people like Gates in charge. The only way we're gonna get changes around here is to take take what we gotta take and run our own shit. You know. Here we, Yeah, we got our Chief Daryl Gates statements, you know. Do you have any comments about what's taking place here? Now look at all those let me ask you this. Look at all those officials down there. There's at least a hundred uh white uh white collar Americans down there. That's millions of dollars in salaries a year. Do you think that money could be spent better? That's right. Yes, yeah, right. Before before those crimes are committed, you know what I'm saying. If we had all the money that those those uh, people are making down there in uh, salaries and the money spent for those cars and all that, we have all these houses. Fixed yeah, up. all these houses fixed up. Everybody had a nice house. There wouldn't be no need for this. You understand? Something's wrong. Look, y'all got them girls over there hiding. <laughs>
she had it. I have a few right. words. I would like to say. Kid. It shouldn't have been trying to make people sell them dope. Oh, oh yeah. Shot they motherfucking why are they, why are they trying to stop this small time shit anyway? It's not grown over here. They're trying to come over here no, fucking with other people. If a motherfucker is poor, with no money, and you dump some shit and tell him he can make money doing a certain thing, he gonna do it no matter what it is. That's all it's about, opportunities. No opportunities down here. The only opportunities down here are so-called illegal. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Something like that, probably. Probably up there in the hundreds. Look at this bullshit around here. Look at that house right there. Look at that shit. Get a shot of that. All that money spent on them nice cars, you know what I'm saying? You better spend that money on homes first. Yep, that's the problem we got here. They don't want to stop shit. They just want the shit to continue so they can keep their job. Turn it around, and they're going to show that shit all biased on the news. They're going to show a big, ugly picture of them. Uh, a 29-year-old, you know. Yeah, twist it around. That's why we here. Straighten this shit out. Let you know what really happened. See this shit right here? <laughs> Fuck the police, man. They beat me up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got footage of them jacking you up over down uh, 35th Street. As the tape is not rolling. All right. Uh, you know, I, I I walked right up two gates, and you can see it on the film. And I said, you know, what what kind of solutions are you proposing here to stop all this shit? I was like, you know, yeah, he, he ignored me. Okay. I think I'll limit this the, the question and answer session to the uh, major news. Uh, newscasters here. <laughs> Y'all talk to Gate? Yeah, we were right up there. You want to rewind that a little bit? Let's stop the foot. Well, we'll the tape will be available later on. Right, go up there and look at it. Let's, let's stop this tape. Yeah. Press pause. Uh huh. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> See, I ain't like that. I know how to keep it steady. about this neighborhood. <laughs> 